Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today is February the 8th, and it is 85 degrees in southeast Louisiana. So today, we're gonna go through a few hives and make sure we got laying queens, see if we got some drone broods, see if what's going on in the hives. So the biggest thing we're looking for today is to find eggs. If we can find an egg in a hive, that means we got a laying queen, and that is what we're looking for. We also will be looking for resources, honey, how much honey they have in the hives. This is the time of the year, you gotta make sure those hives have pollen and honey because they're about to start brooding up like crazy. You want them hives to be very strong. In other words, you want that hive to have, let's say, I don't know, five, six frames of honey if possible. That way they can feed them, them uh, bees that's coming out, feed the brood, feed all kind of stuff. So as you can tell some of those hives, they're already starting to beard, guys. Um, I don't think we're going to see no queen cells or nothing like that. At least I hope not. Because I still think it's too young in a year to actually have virgin queens getting emerged to get mated. I don't think we have enough drones out there for them to even mate yet. But we definitely going to go through a couple of hives, see what we got going on. Y'all ready? I know I'm ready. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, so this is a hive of overwinter. It's double deep, and I got a honey super. Um, I got y'all kind of rigged up on top of another another hive. So I'm trying to get a good shot for y'all. I'm, I'm trying. I won't say it's going to be the best, but I'm going to try to show y'all what we're looking at as we look at it. So this is the first time going inside this hive in a long time. So first thing you want to do is check those inner covers. Make sure you ain't got no queen in there. And all it is is girls. So what I'm hoping for, I'm hoping that the um, queen is not in the honey super yet. Laying. That's what we, I'm trying to avoid. But I kept it on because it wasn't enough honey inside of it to pull for my needs. So I figured I might as well just let the girls have it. So I'm checking in the cover. I don't see nothing there. But I tell you what, these girls are not happy that we in here. Let's get them some smoke. All right, so I do see this frame, that frame, and that frame. These three frames has honey. Now, with that being said, I don't think these frames are 100% drawn out yet either. So let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, we got just regular honey, guys. Yep, there's no eggs, no sign of queen in, in this one. Let's check this one real quick, if I can get it up. And I tell you what, these bees right here got so much propolis on side of, on top of this, it's crazy. So yeah, we just have honey. I don't see a queen. So this is what we got going on. So this is all honey. This is, as you can tell, that's capped. And the rest is just, it's not nectar because you can shake and nothing falls out. So it's just honey from last year, probably from the uh, goldenrod, some, some fall time honey. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this honey super completely off. And we're gonna go inside the deeps and look for them, look for some eggs. So I got two frames right here trying to come up. All right, so we're gonna take it, put it right here. Behind me was out my way. As and y'all can see that I actually kept the feeder. in this deep so that's probably something not good to do I'm not gonna lie to y'all I did forget it inside of it know that I had honey inside that uh, honey super I shouldn't have kept it on and these girls are very feisty they're at me already they're not happy but 
this is all older bees. They're going to be more aggressive. The older the bee, the more aggressive they're going to be. At least that's what I find. All right, so let's give them some smoke. And we're going to start on the outside on my side first. And see what we got going on. Make sure I'm not stepping in no ain't pile or nothing like that. Okay, so let's pull this one up. All right. So we have honey on that side that y'all can see. So that's a small frame of honey, nothing on this side. It's not even drawn out yet. All right, so we know there's no way that queen's going to uh, come in here and lay because there's no room for her to lay. The bottom solid is solid pollen, as y'all can see right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw this frame on the side of the box to give me some room to work. And I see the next frame already right here is solid honey. Very heavy frame too. So yeah, we have honey on this side, and we got some brood here. Look like maybe maybe some drone brood because it is pretty big cells. So that's telling me right there I need to keep an eye on this hive. Put this right here on the ground, on the side. Give me some more room. Give these girls some smoke. Yep, I definitely do see some drone brood in the next frame. So we got a lot of brood on this side. Let's see what we got on this side. We got same thing on this side. So we got drone brood and we got worker brood. So if you knew, let me see if I can put, let me put my hive two down so I can explain this to y'all guys. All right, put this right here. All right, let me see if the camera can see. Yeah. So these big cells, almost like little peanuts, that is drone brood. That is the boy bees. These right here is all worker bees, which is the females. So that is what you're looking at. So we got capped drone brood. So that's telling me what it takes 20 some days for drones to emerge and another 20 some days for the drones to mature enough to mate. But that is this high. So it's telling me within the next month, we're gonna have some swarms in our area. This frame is stuck. <sighs> so we got on this. So I do have queen cups at the bottom. They're empty. There's nothing in it. I do see eggs right here. So that's telling me right there that we have a laying queen. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna put these frames back in. We're gonna pop that box off and we're gonna look to make sure there's no swarm sale, just to be safe. Put some smoke in the, in the air, try to get some of these bees off of us. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the box and I'm gonna grab y'all and let y'all see what I'm looking at underneath. A lot of honey, guys. I don't see nothing as far as saying that we have an issue with swarming yet. Mm 
but these bees are very aggressive. We're gonna put the honey super back on. Close it back up. So, I noticed that we got a lot of bees in here, a lot of brew, a lot of everything. <laughs> Smoke's getting to me, excuse me. I still have an entrance reducer to front. Now that I know we ain't getting them a cold weather, I'm taking that entrance reducer off. Get the bees off of it. Slide it back over the box. And I pulled it off. It messed it up. My back end's good, so that hive is ready to roll. Um, really and truly, I probably should have put a queen excluder under that honey super to stop that queen from coming up. We know that queen's in here. I didn't check here to miss it. the uh bees are a little too aggressive on me right now. But I know they got rum. So I'm definitely going to come and check pretty soon. So that's pretty much what you're looking for right now. And I'm just going to go through all the hobs real quick without y'all guys.